Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Raritan is being brought to you by BCB Bayshore, your community bank. Jersey Sports Zone is brought to you by Ripped. Reach your potential training in Chicken Falls. Ryan Ramsey and Pascac Hills on a 17-game win streak, looking for number 18 and a state title. The Cowboys taking on Raritan in the Group 2 State Championship. Raritan, an underdog facing New Jersey's top-ranked team, showed that they belonged on the big stage. Alex Lamatina with a gun to second to get the runner. In the top of the second, Raritan has a shift on Chris Lum, and Lum is able to pull it down the left field line. Chris Curcio comes in to score the game's first run. Lum with an RBI double makes it a 1-0 Cowboys lead. Later in the second, Mark Hernandez makes solid contact. This base hit to center scores Lum, Another RBI double gives Pascac Hills a 2-0 advantage. In the bottom of the third, Raritan loads the bases on a hit, a walk, and an error. Then Dan Bamberbeek works this walk. Tyler Bruno gets the Rockets on the board. We've got a 2-1 game. Then issues for Ramsey. This pitch sails. Ryan Kasmer's on the move. He slides home safe. Raritan draws even with Pascac Hills. It's 2-2. Rocket starter Zach Johnston settled down from the second and had one more special outing on the hill. Johnston struck out eight, kept Pascac Hills at bay for five scoreless innings after that two-run second. In the bottom of the fifth, Raritan with a runner on, and it's Hernandez with the one hopper to second. The Cowboys catcher comes up big as the runner's out, and we say not into two. Jack Brodsky on in relief in the fifth. He was able to attack the Raritan lineup we saw stellar pitching that set the stage for the late innings. Johnston is a warrior. This is his 109th pitch. Raritan can't cash in in the bottom of the seventh, so we're heading to extra innings in the state championship. Johnston starts the eighth. He's allowed to face just one batter due to the pitch limit, and it's Mike Rodriguez with the grounder deep in the hole and short. Johnston exits as Rodriguez leads off the eighth with an infield single. Pascac Hills would go on to load the bases, and Chris Lum is hit by the pitch. The Cowboys played the go-ahead run. It's a 3-2 game, and now Jack Brodsky needs three outs to clinch the title. In the bottom of the eighth, Brodsky gets a strikeout, then this comebacker to the mound. Two up, two down, the Cowboys just one out away. But this Raritan team would not go away quietly. Alex Lamatina. The two-out base hit, the Rockets looking to rally. A walk would put the go-ahead run on first base. But Brodsky's able to get this popper to third, and Pascac Hills finishes an incredible season with the Group 2 State Championship, their first since 1988. 3-2 to two is your final in eight innings. A fantastic game played by both teams. Pascac Hills finishes the year 30-2 with 18 straight wins to close out 2018. After the game, JSE's Alex Lorenzo talked with Jack Brodsky, who closes out his career with a 10-0 record and an amazing 0.35 ERA. Thanks a lot, Rich. I'm here with Jack Brodsky at Passac Hills. The Cowboys just wrapped up a Group 2 state championship win over Raritan 3-2. Jackie, come on in relief. Uh, pitched four shutout innings in the rain. Kind of take me through your mentality and how you got it done on the mound there. I mean, I'm not normally a relief pitcher. You know, I'm normally a starter. I've always been a starter for this team. But I knew that as soon as I came out, I just had to do what I normally do. And I never had a doubt in my mind that we are going to lose this game. You come out to close it out in the eighth and get a little bit of a jam there. Were you, were you nervous? Take me through your emotions uh, as you get the final three outs. Uh, you know, I got the first two outs and the first two batters. I think I kind of put a little lackadaisical on myself at the third batter. You know, he had a, he had a nice hit up the middle. Then I walked the next guy. So guy on first and second normally for pitchers in this situation. They would have be as nervous as possible. I pitch in high pressure situations like this before, so it was nothing new to me. I just kept doing what I did, and it turned out well. Yeah, this state championship follows up the Bergen County Championship. You guys have really knocked off some big name programs. As a as a team, we got a really uh, were you guys really trying to prove something this year? I think we were. I think after winning the state section last year, it was a it was a really a fight for us to win that last year. And I think a lot of people expect th thought that there were really high expectations for us this year. And, you know, we just went out and did it. We're on a, what, 17 or 18 win streak. I don't think that's got to be some kind of record or something. We've just been on a constant uprise, and I didn't expect anything different. How's it feel to close out your uh, career as a state champion? 
Yesterday at practice, I actually asked Kirby because we had our starter, Ryan Ramsey, who's just been phenomenal all year. And I asked him, if, if it gets to the seventh inning, coach, and we're up six or seven nothing, do you mind if I go in for an inning just to pay, be able to pitch in my last game, especially a game of this type of caliber? He goes, sure, may, may, maybe we'll figure something out. And so when he calls me into the bullpen, I'm like, all right, Jack, it's your time to go. And I clearly did what I wanted to do. Pass that kills, your 2018 Group 2 state champion. Back to you, Rich. Congratulations to the Cowboys. Reporting in Hamilton Township, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.